Good morning. Today's lesson is 4.3. Equivalent ratios and multiplication tables. Our central question, how can you use a multiplication table to find equivalent ratios? The table below shows two rows from the multiplication table, the row for 1 and the row for 6. The ratios shown in each column of the tables are equivalent to the original ratio. Ratios that name the same comparison are equivalent ratios. So bags to apples. 1 to 6. So 1 to 6 is the same as 2 to 12, right? Because I double 2, which means I'm going to have to double the 12. If I had 3 bags, it would be 18. If I had 4 bags, it'd be 24. If I have 5 bags, it'd be 30. So if I'm looking over here, I'm essentially doing my multiplication table, right? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, right? There's my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can use a multiplication table to find the equivalent ratios. Let's unlock the problem. The ratio of adults to students on a field trip is 3 eighths. Use the multiplication table. Shade the row that shows the original ratio. So think, the original ratio is 3 eighths, right? So shade the rows for 3. So if I shade the row for 3, here it is, right? So here's my row for 3. And the row for, whoops, the row for 8, right? So there's my row for 8. So I've got my row for three shaded, and I've got my row for eight shaded. Then circle the column that shows the original ratio. There is one group of three adults for every eight students, right? So for every um, three adults, there's eight students, okay? So the column two shows that there are two um, times three, which is six adults, and then there are two times eight, or 16 adults, Column three shows that there are three times three, or nine adults, and there are three times eight, or oops, 24 adults. So six over 16 is equivalent to nine over 24, right? One way. Jesse made a fruit punch by mixing two pints of orange juice with five pints of pineapple juice. To make more punch, she needs to mix the orange juice and pineapple juice in the same ratio. Otherwise, it'll taste totally different, right? So we need to write three equivalent fractions for two-fifths. Use the rows of multiplication tables to help you complete the tables. So two-fifths is my original ratio. So there's my twos and there's my fifths. So for every two, it would be five. If I had four, it'd be 10. If I had six, it'd be 15. If I had eight, it'd be 20. 10 would be 25, right? So two times two would be four. Whoa showing you all the answers there, <laughs> it would be 4 tenths, right? Which we already did that over here, 4 tenths, right? And then 3 times 2 is going to be 6 fifteenths. And then over here, we've got 8 twenties, because right there is my 8 and my 20, right? My 8 and my 20. Looks like I've already removed them all, so you can kind of see the answers. So we'll just kind of move forward. The, um, oh, whoops. Now, what's going on here? There we go. So, two-fifths is equivalent to four-tenths, it's equivalent to six-fifteenths, and it's equivalent to eight-twenties. So, it's these right here, right? Oh, little lightsaber there. So, there's my four-tenths, there's my six-fifteenths, there's my eight-twentieths, right? And it's also equivalent to ten-twenty-fifths. So, write two equivalent ratios for six over eight. Multiply the form of 1. Multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. We've done this before. We did this in chapter 1, <coughs> a little bit in chapter 2 as well. So 6 over 8, if I multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 2, I'm going to get an equivalent ratio of 12 sixteens. You can divide by the same number 2. So if I divide the top and the bottom by 2, then I'm going to get 3 fourths because 6 divided by 2 is 3, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So two equivalent fractions are 12 sixteens and 3 quarters. Um, explain how they're different. So explain how they're similar and explain how they're different. Well, some possible answers that you could have said is ratios and fractions make comparisons by division. Both can be written using a numerator and a denominator. Ratios can also be written with the word two or with a colon. Let's do a couple more examples. So we want to find some... Um, the column that shows you the equivalent ratio. So here we are, we have four sevenths, right? So four sevenths could be eight fourteenths, and that's simply by, um, you know, multiplying the top and the bottom by two, right? Um, 
Or I could do 20, 12 21s, because if I multiply the top and bottom by 3, then I'd have another equivalent fraction. So let's do some of these. So we have 3 sevenths. So if I had 6, or if I doubled it, it'd be 6 14s. And then I could also do 9 21. So again, these are simply the multiplication charts. 3, 6, 9. Those are all the factors, right? Or all the multipl multiple codes. 7, 14, 21. I could keep going, right? Because I could do 3 times 4, which is 12. And 4 times 7 is 28. So I could have done um, 12 28s. I could have kept going. Um, let's do this next one. It's so actually let me put the fractions there. So eight tens and twelve um, fifteens. Let's do some more. Um, five over two could be ten fours. It could also be fifteen sixes, right? It could be twenty um, eights, right? So here's my. Oops. Let me move this. This is not moving. There we go. So two fifths or four tenths um, for 12. We're doing these ones down here. Sorry, these ones are not related. These are completely separate. Sorry, I messed you up there. So on four fifths, it could be eight tens or it could be 12 fifteens. Um, you could have multiplied it by five, right? And it could have been 20 twenty fives. Okay, so it's whatever you multiply the top and bottom by, it's an equivalent fraction. And then this one over here, I'm sorry if I confused you with this one. So this one is two-fifths and four-tenths for this problem right here. Again, you could have made it, you could have multiplied the top and the bottom by two, and you could have said 24 sixties, okay? The rest you're going to do on your own or with a partner, and again, if you need me, I am always available to you. Good luck.